Stay tuned to see if you know these four favorite exercises for hip pain. Join in and see how well these exercises work for you. For the first exercise, we sit on a chair and perform the exercise specifically for the right side of the body. If you have the problem on the left side, then just do it on the other side. All right, place the affected leg over the other and see how high you can lift it without discomfort or pain. It may be that it's already over here. Then you would do the exercise like this. But it might also be possible that you come over the knee, then either stay low, or if possible, go just a bit higher so that you already feel a proper stretch in the glutes. Because that's the starting point. The buttocks are crucial for the proper alignment of the hips. Push the right knee down, sit up straight, arch your back as much as humanly possible and then come forward. And then you normally notice right away, oh, that pulls into the buttocks. And we absolutely love that because where we pull, it gets longer and thus the pain usually disappears completely. That's simply our personal opinion. Always move forward with confidence and enjoy more and more. What's actually happening in the buttocks area? That's truly a real pleasure for everyone. The exercises really have to be fun. You always do them in a way that they still feel incredibly good. Just barely, that's where the emphasis is because then you are at the limit of comfortable pain and you have the greatest effectiveness in the shortest amount of time used. Keep moving forward. And now we incorporate our strength training. So you stay exactly as you are, don't move, but now press with your right foot using the strength of your leg. Not because I'm doing something with my hands, it's the own strength of the leg against the left one. And relax once again, and then move further forward. And then you press really hard against it, and then you press really hard against it once more, very firmly with all your strength. Stay completely still. This is isometric strength training, which means in this type of strength training, there is absolutely no movement. And again, loosen up and move forward. Then move back until you can lift your leg and raise it up high. Engage your core muscles. Try to lift, 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 and then let go. That was exercise number one. That was for the back. Now let's move to the front. For that, we're going to go down onto the mat and continue there so that we can correctly position the affected side in a precise way that the you practically place the knee in this manner. Position your hand gently on the lower buttock and now push the groin forward while simultaneously moving the navel back. And then you'll feel it quite distinctly pulling right here. If you start to wobble too much, just hold on to the chair somehow. Remember to keep pushing further into each and every stretch. Use your breathing and make sure to keep pushing the groin, the right one or the left one, if you're practicing for the left side further forward. Go in millimeter by millimeter. This is about the hip flexor. And there is not just one. There is a large one with that name. And there is another one that also has a hip flexing function. And it is more stretched when the leg is bent. That's why we're doing it with bent legs. You could also do the exercise standing with a mat if there isn't a floor available. However, the result like this is simply a bit better. Continue moving slowly forward. And then you will pull your right knee forward very carefully. Then the stretched hip flexor tightens. And that's the secret. In the stretch, you also apply strength. That is the ultimate for me. There is no more functional strength training for me. Keep always pulling forward. Continue pulling steadily forward. And then relax. And stretch just a little bit more now. And then again, you pull forward. Really pull forward nicely. Hold the strength, release, and go a little further into the stretch. 
With each exhale, you go further into the stretch. And now come out of the posture. Lie down briefly on your stomach. Keep your knee at a 90 degree angle, then slowly lift your leg up while ensuring your groin stays firmly on the floor for stability. Pull nicely, pull just a little bit more and then come back out. That was really well done. Great job. Now we've reduced hip tension from both back and front, improving flexibility and comfort. Now we're reducing it from the inside, from the inner side, basically the inner thigh. Go behind a chair and then spread your feet wide apart until you feel it really stretches. Keep your hips straight, so make sure you don't bend forward. Yes, keep yourself straight up. And gradually go little by little farther and farther apart with your feet. And you should do this spreading apart like this. Step back a little to relieve the forefoot, and you can place your feet further outward, giving you better stability and balance. Then you move a little forward. This takes the weight off the heel, and you move the heel further apart. And you do that alternately, based on how the muscles and fascia respond to your movements during the exercise routine. And this stretching, most people don't do it in their entire lives. And that's why it's getting tighter there. And I've also had the experience with many football players, with many patients, because there's simply nothing more effective for toning the inner thighs than playing soccer, because the leg is always brought so close to the other one and even past it. If you don't balance that out, it leads to muscle fiber tears, and you can. Observe that when people frequently drop out. Then move a bit forward again, heel outward, a bit back, toes outward, always working a little further in to improve the movement gradually and ensure better alignment of the muscles. And now pull your feet together as if they truly want to touch each other. Pull them tight and even tighter. Then relax everything. Hold the stretch in your legs for a moment before you finally release the tension. And then you can spread out just a little bit more taking your time, and then once again, make sure to pull it really tight together. You pull tight together, then gradually relax. Then you slowly move further apart, taking your time for added precision and control. And now we turn it around completely, come back together very slowly with small careful steps. And now, you lean your body to the left. We're practicing for the right side. Normally, you do it the other way around. And gently pull the leg into the stretch a few times, holding each position briefly. Increase your speed. Try to lift it as high as you can possibly manage, and then gradually come back to your original position. That was the inside. Now we'll move to the outside, and once that's done, we'll be all set. For the outside, we always use a stretching strap, but you can also do it without one if you don't have one or don't have a belt or anything else you can use. All right? We step into the strap with the leg that's doing the exercise or without a strap, do it however you can manage. And now we're going to reach underneath and then place the leg past the left one at the back. On the other side, you will need to transfer it just a bit now. On the other side, the left leg would be positioned behind, right? And now, in fact, the right side is actually positioned on the left, right? So, and now. You need to pull yourself even further into the stretch to the left side, using either the strap, the belt, or even the pant leg, if there's nothing else at all that you can hold on to for support. Then you will likely feel the strong stretch on the outside of your body. And that's precisely where it should be. That's exactly where it should be because we always stabilize on the outside when walking. With each step, it gets stabilized. That's why you have such a firm muscle tendon plate there. And if it gets too tight in that area, 
It's quite a bit of work to make it nice and flexible again, but the effort is really worth it because it takes a lot of pressure off the hip joint. You might already know that in our model, osteoarthritis mainly develops because muscles pull too hard and the head is pressed too much into the socket. We work diligently to resolve that issue with this specific method, ensuring more relief and greater mobility for patients. Continue moving even further over to the side. And you can feel the stretch right here. And like I said, that's where it should be. And now we're going to do some strength training here as well. You're pulling against the stretching strap and want to move your torso upwards, but you're still holding the strap with your arm to maintain balance and stay in the correct position. And that's why no millimeter of movement. This is the rule. You need to tense up at the greatest length of the stretch. Then it gets amazing. Relax again, going further into the stretch for a more profound effect. And once more you. Gently pull your torso up. Relax. Go further into the stretch by gently pulling yourself down with your arm or by using the strap for added support and ease. Now release the loop and pull again with your own strength, maintaining a steady and controlled pace throughout. Keep moving further left, keep moving further left. A bit more, just a tiny bit more, and then slowly make your way back out taking your time and maintaining a very careful balance as you reposition yourself gradually. And now, the most important part, make a comparison. Compare the right hip with the left, meaning the practiced side with the unpracticed one. And feel what you notice there. And if you do the exercise every day, I promise you the chance is high that it will keep getting better, that it keeps getting easier, that you can move better. That's what we want. Because our ultimate goal is, the older we get, the more flexible and pain-free we become. That's why we want to be, that's why it's important to do these exercises regularly. And if you want to have a few other exercises, if you want to know how you can easily open up your hips, you just need to click right here. Oh no, I should actually point over this way. So go ahead and click right over there for accessing these hip opener exercises. And down here, you can subscribe to the channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, do it very, very quickly. Please also activate the bell so YouTube can notify you and will surprise you with an exercise, which might again contribute a bit to your well-being. Try them out and leave a comment on your experience. Bye.